Alvar Aalto once said that mechanization, standardization, is a part of democracy. that it is the only way of giving more to more people. Alto approved of technology and its ability to liberate mankind. But this Same technology has also enslaved people. And Aldo regarded this paradox as a major problem confronting contemporary architecture. Aldo sought the solution to the problem in nature. He was no romantic. however, and did not call for a return to nature. To Aldo, nature was the same.
Alvar Aalto once said that mechanization, standardization, is a part of democracy. That it is the only way of giving more to more people. Aalto approved of technology and its ability to liberate mankind. But this same technology has also enslaved people. And Aldo regarded this paradox as a major problem confronting contemporary architecture. Aldo sought the solution to the problem in nature. He was no romantic, however, and did not call for a return to nature. To Aldo, nature was the symbol of freedom. And in nature, he sought the answer to the problem of how to create harmony between man and technology. Hugo Alvar Henrik Aldo was born on February the 3rd, 1898, in the southern Ostrobothnian village of Gortane. Alvar's father was a district surveyor. His position in the community as a highly qualified expert serving the public was decisive in determining Aldo's approach to the architect's work. Aldo did not erect monuments to him. He wanted to serve the institution. and the public for whom he created household goods. He always approached things from the human point out, not from the intellectual point in. Aldo's a longtime friend and biographer experience of Aldo's relationship with his clients.
hålls här hemma i Finland och inte alltid via det på resor. Så att på det sättet kom det här huset till stånd 1970.